Driving west on the Crow's Nest Highway number 3 from Pincher Creek, Alberta, Canada, we will explore some of the locations in the beautiful Crow's Nest Pass region. Located in the southern end of the Canadian Rockies, the Crow's Nest Pass is one of the richest historic and prehistoric regions of Alberta. In 1981, one of the best preserved Tyrannosaurus rex skulls, nicknamed Black Beauty, was found. The oldest evidence of humans are stone tools found on a rock ridge outside Frank from the Clovis culture dating to 11,000 years ago. Settlement began in the 1880s with the construction of the Canadian Pacific Railway. The main economic activity of the area was the mining of coal, both for the railway and other markets. By the 1980s, the coal mines had all shut down, and now the area has turned more towards tourism. Up first, just before arriving in the Crow's Nest Pass, I recommend the stop at Lundbreck Falls. Lundbreck Falls is a waterfall on the Crow's Nest River near the hamlet of Lundbreck. The falls plunge 12 meters or 39 feet into a deep pool in the canyon below. Walk down into the limestone canyon for a closer look. Not far and standing on the edge of the highway is the Burmese tree. The tree is a limber pine that lived for over 300 years with estimates up to 750 years and it died around 1978. Locals care for it and keep it standing with supports. It is a monument for the pass and last remnant of the former mining town of Burmese. Up next is Leech Collery's Provincial Historic Site. From 1907 to 1915, Leech Collery's Coal and Coke Company operated its surface mine here. It was one of the largest coal mines and the only completely Canadian owned and operated coal company in the early history of the pass. Coal production ceased in 1915. Coming up is Bellevue, founded in 1905, above the Bellevue Mine, operated by West Canadian Collieries. A famous event happened in August 1920, when three robbers held up a Canadian Pacific Railway train at gunpoint. One escaped to the United States, but the other two remained and were spotted at the Bellevue Cafe. What followed was a Wild West-like shootout that left three police officers dead, along with one of the robbers. Take a tour 1,000 feet into the underground to learn about the history of the Bellevue Mine. The mine was in operation between 1905 and 1961. On December 9, 1910, an underground explosion claimed the lives of 31 men. We are now at the Hillcrest Mine Disaster Cemetery and Memorial. On June 19, 1914, a massive explosion ripped through the mine caused by a pocket of methane gas that was ignited that also set off a larger coal dust explosion. 189 men were killed in the explosion that day and most were buried in mass graves at the Hillcrest Cemetery. The Hillcrest Mine Disaster was the worst coal mining accident in Canadian history.
We are now driving through where the deadliest rock slide in Canada's history took place, known as Frank Slide. At 4.10 in the morning on April 29, 1903, 110 million tons of limestone crashed from the summit of Turtle Mountain and buried part of the town of Frank. Between 70 to 90 people were killed, but possibly more. No exact number was determined. The primary cause of the Frank Slide was the mountain's unstable geological structure. Underground coal mining and water through cracks in the mountain were identified as secondary factors. Another recommended stop that we were unfortunately not able to visit on this trip is Blairmore. Blairmore is the oldest permanent settlement in the pass. Its principal industry was lumber and after 1907 was coal. Blairmore's main street retains much of the architecture of the 1920s. In 1903, a new town site named Coleman was laid out a few kilometers west of Blairmore to service a new coal mine. Many of the coke ovens built in 1903 survive along the railroad tracks on the south end of town, which operated from 1906 to 1952. Coleman saw conflict between the Alberta Provincial Police and the Rum Runners during the Prohibition of 1916 to 1924. The pass's most famous rum runner, Emilio Piccarello, confronted Constable Lawson in front of the police barracks. An argument ensued, shots were fired, and Lawson was killed. No one is really sure who fired the fatal shot, but both Piccarello and his companion Florence Lissandro were eventually convicted of murder and executed. Continuing on to the west for a short distance, we will arrive in British Columbia. I hope you enjoyed this drive through the Crow's Nest Pass and enjoyed seeing some of the main highlights. Please click the thumbs up if you enjoyed and consider subscribing. Thank you everyone and I will see you on the next one.